Now at 5.30, the debate over the decision not to fly the pride flag at the Redland City Hall during June continues. Good evening, this is the KTLA 5 News at 5.30. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Rivera. The pride flag has flown at the Redland City Hall during Pride Month in recent years, but that will not be the case this year. Yeah, and that's because the city's flag policy only allows certain flags to be displayed at the facility, and the pride flag is not one of them. A vote to change that failed just a few weeks ago. KTLA 5's Shelby Nelson is live in Redlands with the very latest on this. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Cher. Yeah, you really get a sense of how divided people are over this. Those who are in favor of flying the flag at City Hall say, why are we having this discussion still in 2023? Whereas those who are opposed to it say, well, why can't we just fly the American flag, which unifies us all? Starting June 1st, you might notice more pride flags and representation of the LGBTQ plus community in honor of Pride Month. One place you won't see it, though, is at City Hall in Redlands. I don't know why you wouldn't want to fly it. I'm fine with not flying it. A difference of opinions, and especially among those who showed up to the Redlands City Council meeting on May 2nd. Um, I am here, though, to respectfully ask City Council not to amend the existing flag display policy. To roll this back, especially after flying it for the past two years, sends a horrifying message to the community. A contentious debate right down to city council members. <laughs> it's amazing. It's the people who claim that, uh, you know, that they're being discriminated and stuff for the, accuse us of being a bigot if we don't go along with something. Shame on you. The flag has flown at City Hall in previous years, but turns out it was not compliant with the city's flag policy. So it was simple housekeeping, putting it to a vote earlier this month to amend its display policy so that it could fly the rainbow flag again. But in a surprising turn of events, in a three to two vote, the council voted in opposition. In this case, it will demonstrate favor to one group over others. For, for these reasons, I will change my vote and not support changing our flag policy. I love Redlands as much as anyone. He decided to change his vote, which was, I think, a great surprise to a lot of people, uh, including myself. The decision facing fierce backlash and one the city's first queer council member disagrees with. I think that those visual cues of inclusion are really important to a community that's been historically marginalized. Many arguing that this could open the door to have other flags flown aside from the American and state flag. But others say it's necessary at a time of heightened tensions against the LGBTQ plus community. I knew that I was gay in elementary school. So for me, I seeing that as a little kid, like growing up here, I would be like, oh, okay, there's a space for me. Nobody's taken away freedom. You know, just because you're not flying a, fr a flag doesn't mean that you don't support somebody. It just might mean that we don't need it in our face. And if you do come to Redlands, you might notice that the city does have a rainbow crosswalk. In the meantime, when I spoke to Council Member Davis, she believes that the vast majority of people do want to see that flag flown. So she says that you can bet they will revisit this in the future. That's the very latest here from Redlands. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.